If you were disappointed with last night's hurricane coverage, you're not alone. Uh, between the lame weather channels and standing outside of their hotel rooms giving you the same boring report over and over again, and the people live streaming it, which I found three different people who had, I guess, adequate or at least functioning live streams of them in the hurricane. One of them was this fat guy from Texas who complained the whole time about all of this and needs money for that, so donate, and he'll stream the hurricane all night. And as soon as it started raining, he turned around and went home. So what a scam that one was. Uh, the most popular one that I stumbled across was this dude named Jeff. Had like 38,000 people watching his live stream, but the entire time he was just screaming endlessly. He never shut up. Screamed the whole time and repeated the same thing over and over and over again. So if the winds picked up and there was a big gust, you would hear, Big gust! Screamed at you! About seven times in a row. Unfucking watchable And then the other third one that I found was it seemed like a father-son duo, but they were sort of bickering at each other the whole time, so that part wasn't bad. But for a large part of the stream, they were just parked with the camera pointed at just slabs of concrete so you couldn't see anything that was going on so point of this all this is that enough is enough if you want something done right fucking do it yourself so with your help i want to start live streaming hurricanes so i need a bunch of equipment to get it started i think like a gopro and whatever type of wireless or like a cell network wi-fi hub thing get a bunch of this equipment going, plane ticket, a car rental, and a place to stay, emergency supplies and stuff like that, just in case shit gets out of hand. So my plan is that mount the GoPro, maybe two of them, whatever, so it's fixed. You're not holding it in your hand, shaking it all around, where you can't even get a fucking good view of what the hell's going on in the first place because the person won't hold the camera steady. So the camera will be fixed in position. There will be an external mic hooked up to that camera so that you can get excellent quality audio to actually hear the fucking what the storm is doing. And number three, I'll shut the fuck up. There's no reason to keep narrating what the viewer is already seeing. They can fucking see it. So just shut up and let them enjoy it. And high quality sound, which I'll do with that external microphone, on a fixed camera that's not going to be fucking all shaky and jittery and you can't see shit anyway. So that's my plan. And what I learned last night from watching a bunch of these uh, streams of the hurricane, at least up through a Category 4, you're pretty much perfectly safe in a parking garage. 150 mile an hour winds is not going to tear down steel reinforced concrete parking structures. So hide in there. My plan to hide in a parking garage try to be in the path of where the eye is going to go, be in a parking garage until I'm inside of that eye wall, then leave, try to drive around, track the hurricane for as long as possible, sticking to major highways and interstates if I absolutely could, because the father and son do, they were driving around downtown, and it's just a disaster. There's trees and power lines everywhere, so you can't really maneuver Highways and interstates should be relatively clear, so that, that's the plan. Hide in a parking garage, get awesome shots from the protection of the parking garage of all the winds and like tree leaves and branches blowing around and shit, windows getting blown out. Once I'm in the eye, hit the roads. Try to get the highways and the interstates, follow that hurricane as much as possible, see if I could get close to the, like, the north boundary of the eye wall because the hurricanes are slow, like 15, 20 miles an hour. So try to stay close to that to see how cool it would be if you can get on film where you're in relatively calm and then right in front of you, like 100 yards away or whatever, is just 140 mile an hour winds. I think that would be pretty awesome. And that's what I would like to do. So with your help, we can make this dream come true. Just I figure like a thousand bucks for everything from plane tickets, car rentals, a GoPro, like uh, emergency supplies and stuff like that. And we're good to go. The next hurricane, I'll jump on a fucking airplane, go wherever the hell it's going to be. Well, I have a rented car, so if it shifts course, I can just zip around in the car to be in the path of the eye wall. So that is my plan. And if you want to see some awesome fucking shit like that, 
then I'll leave a Patreon link thing. You can just click on that. You can, I'm pretty sure you can just do like a one-time donation. It doesn't have to be whatever. Like I only ask people for a buck a month the way it is, but if you want to donate like 20 bucks or whatever, you can do that one time. That would be awesome. All that money will be going towards Hurricane Live Streaming because fucking A, I'm sick of these weak live streams with idiots that won't shut up and they're always screaming and the camera's all distorted because apparently they don't understand the concept of wind. So I want to eliminate all this bullshit, stream fucking awesome hurricanes live directly to you, and let's try to make that happen, if possible. So thank you. Good night.